I, I believe that the BBA has um, every right to, to plan out their um, demonstration, to bring about a point. I, I understand their point. Uh, they feel that the prices are expensive and there's no reflection in the, in, in the ticket pricing. So they're not they're in a difficult position, especially with buses that consume a lot more fuel because they tend to be older engines. So I know that they're feeling it, um, and we are too. But um, but I think that we haven't been contacted about anything related to that, and um, we're here to provide a service. So people need to move, and um, I think that there's other ways of negotiating and speaking with uh, government or authorities so that that a change could happen. Um, and uh, it, you know, resorting to some extreme scenarios is their choice. And I'm not going to judge that. That's their choice. But it's also our choice to continue to provide a good service. So on that day, we're going to take every precaution towards making sure that our, our buses are safe on the road. Yes, is of, of concern so that there's some level of discussion within our team and some level of um, action that's taken towards making sure that our bus is safe. For example, if we have to then speak to the police department to make sure that we have police on board, which a majority of our buses do have that. Um, um, so we'll do whatever we have to do to make sure that the buses are safe, but we are also intent on making sure that we provide the service that we have a contract with the government to provide. We're, we're mandated to, to daily, that's why we're not supposed to be shutting, I'm sorry, breaking down on the road or anything like that. We need to move people to work, to shopping, to whatever they have to do.